The Base Thinker system allows us to control the warehouse using various storage documents. We can, among other things, create a delivery as an order or accept products to our warehouse. Let's move on to creating such a delivery. We can define an auxiliary name to be displayed on the delivery list. Numbering series. We can define a catalog, warehouse, for which we create a delivery or a supplier. We can define the product code that we will download, for example, from the product SKU or the purchase price, for example, collected from our online sale price group. Below, we have a field to enter the cost invoice number. In the items section, we have the option of loading products from the delivery in two ways. We can manually search for a product by entering the name of the product and searching for it in the storage or by scanning the code. We choose the name of the product. We choose a random product. If we already have a product, we define its quantity and purchase price. In landed costs, we can include, for example, the price of the courier. In the last tab, we can add our own notes. We can save such a delivery and immediately transfer it to the shipped ones or save it as a draft. We will move it to the sent ones. At this point, we can also send information about the delivery to our supplier. If we carry out such an order for him, or deselect this checkbox and transfer the delivery to those sent when such delivery has already been made in a different way and we only accept it to the warehouse. The delivery has been saved in the system. We can enter the status and see the available statuses. It can be a draft, that is, a delivery in the process of editing, sent to the supplier, received, is being verified, accepted, or also accepted incomplete. Let's close. In our case, let's transfer our delivery to the picked ones. In this case, our delivery is under verification. Let's edit the delivery. We go to the Items tab. In this case, we can either manually or using a code scanner to determine the number of products. In our case, let's enter 100. At the bottom, save and take it to storage, we confirm receipt on the warehouse. Our delivery is completed. We can now verify our delivery and make sure everything went smoothly. Let's move on to the list of products. We find the product that was on delivery. Let's go to addition. Choose history. As you can see, we have the product edited event. In this case, the dispatch storage status has changed. On the right side, we have a storage document. We move on to editing our goods received document. This is what our goods received document looks like in PDF format. It was created automatically. Let's cancel. We can smoothly go to the Storage Documents tab. We can download such a document as PDF, edit it, or check the history. Here we have information about the employee's profile and time created by the document. Let's close. In the upper right corner, you can create documents manually. For example, goods received, internal goods received, or goods issue. 
Goods issue documents are automatically marked as soon as the order is processed. The other documents are internal goods issues. We can add such a document. We can determine the number, position on such an issue. Let's enter the name of the product here. Of course, we can use a barcode scanner for this. We click Save Changes. We have confirmation that the entry has been added. Our new IGI document is on our list of warehouse documents. Let's move on to the list of products. Let's go to Product History. As you can see, we have another Product Edited event. This time there is another storage document, this time deducting the stock. We can edit it. Another document we can do is an internal transfer. So let's move on to creating such a document. We choose the target warehouse, such as shipping or the central warehouse. In our case, it will be a central warehouse. We search for products. We can also search for them using a scanner. We define the quantity and click Create a Document. The entry has been added. So let's check how the event histories were generated. As you can see, we have 10 pieces of a given product, so the inventory transfer has been done correctly. Let's prove it with history. We have the product addition, that is, the status of the shipping warehouse and the central warehouse. Such an event created a storage document for us. It is also possible to prepare the opening balance, that is, a document presenting a list of products or an IGR document, that is, a document issued, for example, when additional items of a given product are found during the inventory. Above, we have a register of documents. In the register of documents, we can prepare a ready export, we can select the exact time range, define the parameters of such an export.